What is going on, everybody? We are back on it, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 12. There's pretty much really nothing to recap from last episode. You guys kind of saw it. The post-discussion was pretty short. It's pretty much the first full episode that there wasn't really much to kind of go over and discuss. Um, Winry is in kind of, I guess, the best place she could be. <laughs> she wants to kind of develop her skills, hone her craft, you know, come on as somebody like Apprentice and, you know, just hone her skills. And that's pretty much all we got from last episode. We didn't get any information on the um, the Philosopher's Stone. We didn't get any information on the, the boy's teacher or the murder mystery or who is the rat inside the government. You know, kind of just all that stuff that we had from episode 10. Um, we didn't kind of touch on any of that in episode 11. So I'm hoping that we'll kind of steer back towards... Um, something more towards the plot point slash story, and we'll just take it from there. So let's go ahead and get into it. So we're right at the title screen, episode 12, One is All, All is One. Pressing play right now. Here we go. The hell is this? Is that their dad? No, that's not their dad. I don't know who this is. What was that? Breaking out in cold sweats. It wait, what's that? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm ready to see their teacher. Oh god, did she already know they were coming? That's not it. Their teacher was a girl. No one's been big enough to pat your head like that. Oh, she's sick or has a sickness? Oh, the last. Oh, God. Oh. Tiger. Sandals and all. She doesn't know what happened. Oh, hi, Dokken. She have dreads? They look kind of dope. Oh, okay. She's on that All Might grind. Oh, she has the uh, symbol. this philosopher's stone can make her better can you cure sickness with alchemy who the hell is that what is that name the same dude he was having dreams about who's the dude They wouldn't be how they are. Ed really hasn't grown at all. That's the last time they remember him. Looking like the damn head of the government council dude from Attack on Titan.
ever. She just avoided it. He's crying. Never drank his milk. What did she die from again? Was it sickness or just... been so long since we've like addressed so does he does she know that Al's not in there and what happened and this man's got a metal arm and oh well I guess when Al doesn't eat they'll see oh god they don't know She's going to pop his head off, isn't she? Mm. I want her to find out because I want to see her reaction. Got to tell her. You didn't think it was weird that Al didn't take his armor off, like, sitting inside or anything like that? Are they building their own dam? Oh, they're building a levee. That's her. What's she going to do? Fucking just build a wall? No, no transmutation. Well, she has it written on her chest. Holy shit. That'll do it. But that's in Ed and Al's hometown, and she doesn't live there. Oh, fuck. And they know because they've been practicing with the... Yeah. Oh, shh. Old lady. No, oh, she's passing through. It's weird seeing Al. What, get off this deserted island? Oh, she said it. She said it. Give him a blade. Dang, Ed was all... I mean, Al was already bigger than his ass then. Left their asses on a deserted island.
Curtis. Ooh. Better get to hunting. I don't know many grown boys that could. I mean, not grown boys. I don't know many little boys that can just track and hunt. Go hungry or kill it? What's the decision? I better be careful pushing that knife around. Wow. Oh, wow. You snooze, you lose. They're never going to catch that fox. She said, don't use any alchemy either, so. This is straight naked and afraid. Just got them out there. Said they had one month and a couple days. Coming up on a week. Start seeing hallucinations in a minute. Hmm. Got to work as a team. Is that what the one is all, all is one? <laughs> he thinks it's pieces of chocolate. Don't do it. One is all, all is one. He's really going through. Oh, they're really going for it. Are they actually going to put it down? You'd have Al's big ass be the one. Not many boys, shit. Not even boys. Not many grown adults could do that. Start a fire, track down animal. Fox. Yep. Did they have to get off in one month? I forgot what happened to him in one month. Oh, they had to figure out the, yeah, the question in one month. Coming back tomorrow. Life makes life. Like she said. Mm hmm You make more life. Yep, one is all and all is one.
He's not wrong. That's some pretty deep thinking for I don't know how old they are, or at least how old Ed was at that point. I bet she tells them they're wrong. She just wanted to, I don't think she cared for the answer. She just wanted to see if they could make it. All right, I need this information drop. So you have to have the transmutation circle to be able to alchemy whatever it is you want to alchemy. Mm -mm. Yep, all is one in a circle. Draw the matrix inside the circle, inside the circle of power. Oh, she's the Matrix. She's Neo. So she's tried to maybe do what he's... No, because Ed, and, Ed was able to do the transmutation without the circle before... No, was he? Actually, now I don't, I don't know. Because he was a young boy when they did it. Maybe once you, but how else would she have seen the truth? If... She's going to find out what happened. Nice. He did. Is the only way to see what they saw is to dabble in the human transmutation? But what is it about seeing it that you then come back and can all of a sudden transmute without a circle? What she did to be able to see it. She did the same thing. That shine gun eye. She didn't come back giving up. Maybe she gave up her inner health. Maybe that's what she gave up. She didn't lose a limb or a soul, for all we know. Yeah, she did try to bring something back. She tried it too. You're missing that one ingredient a soul. But maybe human transmutation takes sacrificing a life to bring back a life. I don't know. They tried to make a kid. Mm. Wow. She's just waiting to... Well, I mean, she's stayed alive this long, but... Maybe they wouldn't have gone down the same path if they had known. It hasn't been that big. If you ever get your body back. They're going to start bawling.
Got it. Basis deconstructing and reconstructing, reconstructing. Breaking down and putting back together. I guess what's curious to me about alchemy, which I'm guessing that's the episode, is the breaking down part. Um, because I'm guessing, because like, oh god, did the episode just start? Whoa, chill, 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 chill. Because I'm guessing, because from a lot we see, all we kind of see is the reconstructing, the creating. I feel like the only time we really emphasize kind of the the deconstructing is when we had the Ishvalan. We see him just like breaking up structures, but like for, um, like for a strong arm and Ed, we just see him hit it and then he constructs it. Where is the breaking down aspect, if that makes sense? So the, basically, that's what I'm trying to figure out there. I had a couple of, you guys left some good comments. So this is episode 12. You guys just saw the fucked up episode. Um, on YouTube, you guys just saw episode, uh, what episode is this? Four. And I'm getting kind of good explanations on kind of, um, exchanging like material for material. Um, if I wanted to create, you know, a wooden chair, I would have to understand the amount of material or wood that I would need to create the chair. And then I guess if I put that inside the circle, do whatever it is that alchemists do, I can then create the chair. Um, same thing if I wanted to make a bat or maybe even a sword. Um, and or, or if anything is broke, if anything is deconstructed, like if I have a broken chair or a broken bat or a broken sword, um, since the material is already there, I can just do what it is I do and put it back together. Um, and if a chair or a bat is missing a certain part or the sword is missing a little bit, just add that extra material needed and then I can make said um, said item. I guess what I'm trying to think of, well, where, where, where does the actual deconstruct and deconstructing part of the alchemy come in? Because a lot of what I've been seeing is just like creating, creating, creating. I'm not seeing like the breaking down, reconstructing, and then, you know, creating again. So... We'll kind of get the clarification on that. Um, so, I mean, it was just by pure luck that they came across her. If the two boys, maybe if the two boys' parents were still, well, if the two boys' parents were still alive and the dad never walked out and the mom never died, maybe the boys would have never taken an interest in alchemy. So even if the parents were still alive, maybe they wouldn't have been there. Maybe if the mom stayed alive, they wouldn't have been there because the mom wouldn't have let them wander out there in this like huge, you know, typhoon, tsunami, flood. Um, and the fact that she had to be passing through the town at the exact same time, um, it all kind of worked out perfectly for them. So I think the only kind of new information we gained from this episode that we kind of didn't have before was one, being able to transmutate without drawing a transmutation circle either in the moment or having it planted like beforehand or, you know, how the guy wears it on his gloves and you know things like that um the teacher made the statement kind of or azumi once you've seen it like seen it you'll kind of understand i don't know what just seeing it does to a person when they come back i guess back to maybe the real world that all of a sudden I don't know what it is they understand or the higher being that they've elevated to that all of a sudden lets them create without creating the circle. I don't know if we'll get kind of clarification on that or you guys can feel free to explain that. But she did the same thing. So I wonder if you've only, the only way to see it 
or create without needing the circle is committing the taboo, trying to create life or bring back life or anything like that. I wonder if doing that, surviving it, sacrificing whatever it is you had to sacrifice to stay alive, like she had to sacrifice parts of her intestines um, and organs, and sacrifice, you know, a couple limbs. I don't think, I don't know if Al can or not. I don't think he can create without a circle. I'm not positive. Um, but is it once you've sacrificed something to, I guess, stay alive or whatever, you then get the ability to create without needing to create the circle? We'll kind of figure out and go from there. Um, and again, I guess she's just a... I guess it just kind of comes down to where you kind of fall as an alchemist as far as what it is you could do. Like, we saw her, like, controlling the earth and kind of doing, pulling things out of a side of a building. That all had to kind of do with, um, I don't know if you want to say earth, but kind of like what strong arm was doing. I was just kind of using the world and the earth and the ground around him. But we've also seen Ed do the same. I guess because when I think of Ed, when they say full metal... I think he's only going to create and reconstruct and everything with metal. But we've seen him do it like he created that sword or that staff or whatever, like straight from the ground. It didn't have anything to do with metal, I don't think. Um, and I'm guessing how that woman, just how Uzumi just created that staff, she just used the material that was in the building, as far as, you know, the building actually having structure, uh, concrete, whatever, and then pulled that amount out needed to create. Um, I'm just trying to think you'd have the study to kind of know the amounts it, it, I don't know it's so deep and you guys told me this don't even sit there and try to really think about the amounts needed and how much one would know like it's so so deep and scientific that you it's borderline impossible to try to really grasp and understand but as far as like how our guy with the gloves and the government bureau he knows like uh, I don't know what it is that he's doing or giving or constructing as far as the flames go and the guy with the water that was able to control water inside people's body, like how much of it would you need to, but that's again, something you would have to study kind of with whatever it is you want, I guess, become a specialist in. Um, but I wonder if most alchemists for the most part can just, you know, use kind of earth bend, be earth benders, control, you know, things from the ground, things from buildings. Um, Cause you would still need to know kind of, the amount to use and what to take it. It's just deep. And I'm already confusing myself trying to dive into it. Um, but we'll kind of see what more Zumi can show us. Um, she knows, you know, what they did and they did, the, she did the same as them. Um, is it only if you've committed the taboo, you then can come back and start creating without the needed kind of symbol. We'll kind of see and go from there again, no kind of lead on where to find a, uh, philosopher's stone other than she said she knew somebody which happened to be their father, which they were, I guess, Ed was still surprised or not surprised, but it was news to him that he was still alive. So I wonder if it's going to have to be through their father that they gain the information that they hopefully can get to bring their mother back. I forget what their mother died from, but if he had not left, which she had still been alive, like they had to go. Th the reason she's gone and the reason they're in the state they're in is because of him. And then they have to then seek him out to kind of rewrite everything. Um, but she said he made it seem like it was a good reason. Or he finally came, um, he finally reached what he was he was looking for, so we'll figure that out. Um, but yeah, this will go up on Patreon on the twenty seventh. Guys, enjoy. Um, and I think we're gonna have our first podcast up this weekend. Hopefully, fingers crossed, and I'll keep you guys updated. But help us reach six thousand subscribers. Like, share, favorite, subscribe. I'll catch y'all Saturday, Patreon members, with My Hero Academia, and then Patreon members, you guys will also be getting Vinland Saga episode two, Patreon only. Um. Yeah, like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always, 